Hi everyone, welcome back to another PCNS video. As you are probably already aware, test tubes are the ideal way to store and house most types of queen ants in. From experience, I have found that in doing so, the test tubes can become extremely filthy. Not only from the food you give your ants, but also the trash that your ants produce. This leads to mold. That is why in today's video, we will be looking at how to both feed your ants in a test tube and how to move your ants into a new test tube if that one becomes too moldy or dries out completely. Personally, I originally didn't really care on how to feed my ants inside their test tubes. But after doing some research and losing many colonies, I now know the true importance of doing this. Here are a few ways to feed your ants without putting their lives at risk. The first method is certainly the quickest and just involves pulling out the cotton and placing the food in with tweezers. This method only really works with larger species of ant as the smaller ones tend to drown in the food or honey. When doing this method, make sure you put the tiniest bit of honey in to ensure your ants can eat it within a few hours to prevent mold from forming. If this messy method doesn't float your boat, then you can try using aluminium foil to put the food on. It acts as a bowl and will stop mold from forming on the test tube and allows for an easy cleanup process. The next method is for smaller species of ants, like Fidolae and Bicnilli ants. It involves putting food on a piece of cotton as therefore the ants will not get stuck in the food, as they'll have something to cling onto. You can even soak the small cotton ball in a bit of sugar water. I find this works well and have had no problems with it. The final method may not be affordable for everyone, as it involves using feeding connectors for your test tubes. I got this one from Antastic, and if you need any, then I will leave a link in the description to their store. If you don't keep many ants, then I would highly recommend using this method, as it is very safe for your ants. Now that we have covered numerous examples on how to feed your ants in a test tube, here are a few examples on how to move your ants into a new test tube. The first method is to just move your ants with force. Although quick, it is not healthy for your ants and could cause them to get stressed out and possibly die. However, if you have to move a lot of queens into a new test tube, this method is time effective. The next method is better for your ants, but only really suits larger ants, as it is glue tacking the ends of your tubes together and covering the new one and shining a light on the dirty old one. The light encourages the ant or ants to move into the new test tube. This could also be completed using sticky tape if needed. If those two methods aren't for you, then you can try this one. It involves using a test tube connector and applying a new test tube to the end of the old one. If you need one of these, you can find them at Antastic's webpage. I also have been attempting to design and print some of my own test tube connectors for myself. And there you have it, a number of ways to make sure your ants can stay alive and thrive while being kept in test tubes. And since you guys have made it this far, we are going to do a bit of a giveaway. I recently won this nest in a Novo Ants live stream and to be honest, at first, I really thought I needed this nest and had a use for it. But currently, I don't really have a big enough colony to use it. So I'll be giving it away to one of you guys. To enter, just write a comment on what your favorite thing is about keeping ants as pets. And the person with the most likes will be awarded this awesome nest for their own ant keeping journey. Winner to be announced in next week's video. I thank you all for tuning in, and if you haven't already subscribed, then please do so. It really helps me out, more than you could ever imagine. 
be sure to stick around for new videos on these amazing little creatures every weekend. Cheers. Cheers.